Okay, so what do you guys want? The pleasure is oh, all Katara. mine. What is it in Eladon, Gallo? Is this about jobs? I've got to be brutally honest with you, Eladon. Right now, we don't stand a chance against the Kamenathon. Not only do they outnumber us, but they're also better connected and better equipped. We need to disarm the thong. I know there's a shipment of illegal jade blades that was seized by the port authorities a while ago. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that the shipment was meant for the common of thong. And I'm dead sure those weapons won't stay impounded forever. Unless we act, they're going to come conveniently disappear to find their way into the hands of our enemies. Go to the harbor. There's a clerk named Pogonophilus Lucter who works upstairs in the Point Authority building. Squeeze him a little. See if he'll talk. Okay. So we have to squeeze the clerk. Boche is out of jobs for you, yeah? Well, I could use a hand with something. Okay, what job do you have for me? I've got one for you. I need your help to collect overdue vigorous from Galadris Byron. Tell me about the overdue vigorous. There's this potter you see by the name of Galders Baron. Makes vases, jars, jugs, and the like for good for wine and stuff. Anyway, he used to pay us a cut back in the day when we still had a foothold in Androthen. Seems to me that he should pay us with interest. Now I know my temper. I don't want to go there and ruin our good name by doing something stupid. So maybe you could join me? Baron's workshop is on the upper west side of town. I'll see you there, okay? Sure. Meet you there soon. Good. See you at the workshop. A hail right. and hearty welcome, friend. Are you asking me about jobs, boss? The world of crime is still quite new to me, but I think I might have what you could call a lead. I happen to know that there's a certain merchant in this town who's got an amulet of silver tongue hidden in his shop. Surely thieves like us would be interested in such a valuable trinket. Tell me about the amulet. There's a local book merchant named Elire Fondas. While visiting, I noticed him fidgeting a rare amulet, an amulet of silver tongue. It enhances one's mercantile ability, and Three Eyes is interested in buying it. Takes these, take these two scrolls of Mage's Eye with you, Eladan. They will help you find the amulet in the shop. To get to Fondas' bookshop, head west from the temple, go upstairs, walk past the houses, and one of the shops in the small plaza will be the bookshop. Okay, so we have three tasks assigned to us by our new recruits. Let us head to the docks and we'll shake up the bed, see what he tells us. Okay, so we're here at the Port Authority building. We have to find our way up. That's down. That's up. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. Just the man I was looking for. I'm very busy here. Very, very busy. Lots of paperwork. So I'd appreciate it if you just left me alone. Can you tell me about the illegal cheek blades? I am simply a records clerk. I don't personally deal with the contraband items, so even if there was a shipment of illegal daggers that had gotten impounded, an event which I don't recall, handing them, handling them would fall beyond my job description. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Never mind, friend. Mr. Pogono 
says he knows nothing about the daggers and wants me to leave him alone. Now, if I was a thief of a lot of guile, I could probably pock him up. Which, last time, I just pissed him off, so... Come upstairs. You talk too much, Outlander. I'm gonna find the contraband daggers. Why do you disturb me? Not disturbing you. Quick save here. Quickly sneak into this room. No one can see me. I'm a ghost. Nothing here I need of value. I don't need the trade manifest, but here on this side are the daggers. And a small chest of some gold. I'll just stealthily walk out of here. No one knows any wiser. You talk too much, Outlander. I sort of wish I would have gone alteration. I didn't go alteration, did I? I did go alteration. I need to get a levitate spell and a lock spell. Start locking doors behind me. Although there's no reason for that. They won't notice. Okay, for the next task, since we already got the contraband daggers for Tatara, we're gonna head up to the bookstore and steal this precious amulet that my rug has asked us to get. Bookstore is slightly up here. I believe it's this way? No bookseller. Afternoon, friend. Just looking for books. What do you have for sale? You're new to an Dothran, right? Want to hear a little secret? Yeah, sure. The Lungil, the Altamir, is a shady character, even for a lawyer. Everyone knows he is a bookkeeper for the Kamatang. The Lungil, the Lungil, the Altamir. I have to keep look out for him. But yeah, show me what you got. Oh, bye. These guides, just because I like them. Quickly, Outlander! I haven't much hey, time. Do you have Say books you upstairs, friend? Oh no! I see some books here. There's the amulet of the of silver tongue. Take this. This book looks interesting. In Froda. Oh. No one saw anything. I don't know how he saw me there. Maybe I wasn't sneaking. I'm not sure what happened there. Just gonna head out of here, jump off the balcony. Okay, so we've got the amulet of silver tongue for Mr. Rowdy. Now we have oh no, we have to for Mr. Marug. Now we have to go 
and extort a pot seller. Not even the good kind of pot seller. With Mr. Rowdy. My time is precious, so make it quick. I remember it is somewhere or where here. Here it is. Valdris Beran Pot. You may speak. Hey, my friend. Time to collect some Ordu Vigor, Rish. Talk to this fool, Eladan. Make the potter see that we better pay up. Let me see if I can do this a nicer way. Let's do charm. Speak, traveler. And I will drink Tavani Bug Mask. This young man here says that you're members of the Thieves Guild and that I owe you over to Vigorish. What is this nonsense? <laughs> so, it's a protection racket you think you're running. You boys can't be serious. Why would I pay your so-called guild for protection when you couldn't even protect yourselves from the common thong? No, you're not getting a septum from me. Please leave and take real musk with you. I need to pay up or else. I'm not scared of you. Fine. The old man won't cough up the gold? Okay, I guess we gotta teach him a lesson. There's a clean room downstairs. I know this fool has a bunch of freshly made urns stored there. Nice looking ones, too. Be sure. Would sure be a shame if something were to happen to them. If you know what I mean. Okay, let's do it. Good. I'm gonna keep watch. And Galdras here and make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Don't hurt him, Rowdy. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? I need to get you out of the way. Happy to help. What's your problem? My problem is your husband or boss, where you are, won't pay the extortion. And that I can't get by you. Oh, I hate you. Last time you did this to me too, but upstairs. Okay, she's out of there. Be careful. Don't go unnoticed. You will be safe for this. I can't stop you. It's broke all his urns. No, you have no you, manners. You, all of this for over the vigorous. You broke all the urns. You realize what you've done. I was supposed to ship them to an important client. I won't be paid now. And what's worse, I've got to pay contingency for failing to meet the deadline. I'll, I'll take months to recover from this. Take the money and go. You're just like the common at Dong. Maybe I shouldn't have broke all the urns. You Girl, may let's speak. Go. The old fool paid or do vigorous, yeah. Good job, Aladdin. You hang on to that gold, okay? Put it to good use. We're done here. Let's return to the ruins. Shay will have jobs for you, no doubt. Okay, so we're going to return to the ruins and talk to Shay. Oh, I forgot about the shrine. It's very cool. The shrine of Amalexia's Fury. Here Amalexia struck down upon the demon hordes of Adasum, Dir Kamal, the divine fury and all the splendor of the stars. When her rage finally subsided, Kamal was no more. Um. 
the, all the false keys and the ruins. I've completed all the tasks for the new truths. And sky, we My rug, here is your amulet of the soul tongue. You're the amulet. Very good work, Eladon. Impressive. I shall bring it to three eyes. He will reward us for this find. You should speak to Shane now. I think she has something for you to do. A hail and hearty welcome. Rowdy, I already dealt with you. Want to tell me about your life story now? I'm an orphan. Grew up in the sewers of old Evan Hart. Don't know who my parents were and don't really care. They must have been pretty rotten folks who dumped me like that. I lived in Palace of Beggars. Heard of it? That's no place for a kid. A street urchin's life is hungry and uncertain. Is there even bread at the end of the bread line? You know? Well, long story short, as soon as I was big enough to rob people at knife point, I started doing exactly that to keep myself fed. The guild took notice of me and took me in. I ain't stabbed a man since. This is my family now. Yeah, I've heard of the Palace of, Palace of Beggars. Yeah, it's in the sewers of old Evan Hart. Not a great environment for a kid to grow up in. There's mad Agonians, skooma fiends, people who write poems with their own blood and God knows what else, and folks who got expelled from the Rat Catchers Guild. Do you know how messed up you have to be to get expelled from the Rat Catchers Guild? Tell me the story about when you stabbed the man. There's this one guy that still haunts me just a little. There was this red guard priest who worked in the hostel of Stendar's Mercy, handed out bread for the poor, but one day they ran out of bread sooner than usual, and I was told to come back later. So being the nasty piece of work I was back then, I thought, I was well within my rights to stick him with a blade. I grabbed an amulet from his neck and just ran away, leaving him bleeding on the floor. I don't think the dead priest died. The priest died. I would have heard from it if he had, but I never went nowhere near the hostel after that. I just hid in the sewers until the guilt found me. I still got the amulet. Now I'm not a coward or nothing, and I've wanted to return it for many times, but you know, I guess I'm too ashamed to face the priest. I can return the amulet for you. Really, Eldan? You do that for me? I appreciate that. Here's the amulet. Tell the priest, Izon, that I am sorry. I never should have done what I did. Tell him that I've changed. Not much, but a little. Oh, so he has like a little side quest on him. Cool. What do you think of Patara, actually? I'm going to speak to her. She looks like she can really use a raper of hers. How many people do you reckon she's killed? Hopefully enough. When Kamala Tong turf. Well met, friend. We need to assign the Tong. I did that. You found the legal jink blades? Nicely done, Eladan. I'll let you keep one of them and distribute the rest to our fellow thieves. We ain't exactly declawed the Kamatang now, but at least they won't have these anymore. You should talk to Shay. I think she's got a job for you now. Cool. Do you have like a life story thing? Tell me about yourself, Satara. Yeah, that's me. How about your background? I'm Tatara, Wet Ear of the Thieves Guild. Very cool, Tatara. Do you know anything about the massacre of the Dusky Elite? Let's just make sure we don't get a massacre at the Hall of the False Keys. Uh, yep, I agree. I've completed their little quest. Let's go talk to Shay. Hey, Shay. Jobs, I got one for you right now, and if you want to improve the hideout, I have a suggestion. How should we improve it? 
we could consider some rugs and tapestries for decoration. Warm, soft rugs would feel better under our feet in cold grass floors, and these bleak walls would look much better with some color on them, yes? I know where to get these things for cheap, almost for free. Well, I just extorted a poor pot maker, so here, yeah. Okay, I'll make the order. The new rugs and tapestries will be here soon. How about this job? I've got a note from Three Eyes. They've got a job for us. You know them better than any one of us, so I think you should handle this, Saladon. Welcome, Outlander. Sounds like I should. Speak freely. Is there anything I need to really drop off? Book of Thieves Tools. Very cool. Okay, now my question is, are you guys gonna get pissed if I take shit out of this? No? Okay. Let me use it as my storage then. Still need that. Up off the ebony arrows. That's all. Might as well rest because I have a level. The challenge now is to stay at the peak as long as you can. You may be as strong today as any mortal who has ever walked the earth, but there's always someone younger, a new challenger. Appearance, of course, and agility. Oh, 18. So, we need to go speak so to three to eyes. You. The good fence that does not buy Skuma. You. It comes near. What does it want? How quick is this one? And Tashra bets he is quicker. Last guy that bet me that disappeared off in the wind. So, you probably are. Let's go see what three eyes have to, has to say. This is a beautiful city. My time is precious, so Tamari make it Dalt quick. Is the best mod by far I've ever played on Marwin. Do you I'm want something from me? Nope. Just gonna go speak to Three Eyes. Oh, I left my skooma here. We see that Shay has sent you here, Elidan Gallo. Is this about jobs, correct? We have one for you. We need you to deliver Thoracle's Bane to a wealthy client of ours. It's an artifact that we managed to procure for a client. An old executioner's axe. Not the most ancient nor the prettiest of things, truth be told but it has some historical notoriety, and thus it has monetary value. Our client's name is Vermilius Vendisi. Deliver the axe to him. We trust you to be professional and discreet. Sure, where does Vendisi live? Sir Joe Vendisi is an imperial aristocrat who owns a manor in Andrathrin recently returned from Cyrodiil. He is an avid collector of rare weapons. That makes him a very good client of ours. You should make a good impression on him. Vindisi may be an outlander, but he is also very, very wealthy. He has connections to the criminal underworld of Andathrin. 
your rivals the Kamanatan. You see what we mean? He might be of interest to you. You will find his manor in the upper western district. Cool. So, did you give me the axe? Yeah, you gave it to me. Well, this is a quick little mission. We're just a high mass delivery boy. Do you want some? So to the western edge of town we go. His house right here. What? what? You have questions? No, my friend. There's plenty of slaves, very wealthy. Oh, the Empire map is pretty cool. Yes. What Don't was me. that? Just looking at your beautiful little map. Marwind, the Black Marsh to the south. Also borders with Cyrodiil and Skyrim. <laughs> Very cool. Hello, my friend. Greetings. I am Vermilius Vendelsi. You worked for that peddler Three Eyes, correct? And you have something for me, yes? A little gift, perhaps? Uh, I don't know what the gift part, my friend. Let's see it then. Ah, yes. What a wonderful addition to my collection. No one in this town has anything like it. Oh, what's this? You want a payment for the axe. Before we get to that, tell me about your collection. I have the biggest private collection of weapons and armor in the city. It might even be the biggest collection in the whole province. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. There's a quality to quantity. You see, I have more swords, more axes, more of everything, really. The individual pieces might not be the rarest, but when you put them all together on display, like I have, by the gods, the sheer quantity of them dwarfs any competition, without a doubt. Yeah, about the payment for the axe. And here I hope that the axe was a gift. A welcome back to Marwin type of deal from Three Eyes. Tisk tisk. It seems that all these years of being a loyal client of theirs means nothing to that Argonian. But all kidding aside, speak with Valas Varano, my manservant. You'll find him upstairs. Give him the axe. He'll put it on display and give you the money. Goodbye, my lord. So yeah, here's... An okay little axe collection. I mean, weapon collection. Arctic Warhammer. Nothing too special. Oh, what's that shield? Akaviri shield. Like, he doesn't even have, like, Diedric or Ebony. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. Sweet Skooma. Sweet Skooma. The sweetest of Skooma. Last time I had no, to lock back this door. You have no manners. Not so fast, Outlander. What's your business here, delivering an artifact of some sort? Let's see it, then. Oracle Ben. A giant executioner's axe for the for Vendisi's collection? 
Of all the things these outlanders buy, let me unlock the door for you. You'll find the steward vaults Murano on the floor above us. It did ask me to read the screen. Maybe I shouldn't have showed it to him. But then I'd have to use a levitation potion to get upstairs. Do not bother me. One was gonna. I'd sort of like to steal this Akaviri shield, but I'll probably come back here later. Go on. Gold shield. I can't with stop you. Armor rating. Embracers. Imperial gold helm. Oh, please, gods. Don't let him start in on that solemn duty crap again. Sword. Very interesting collection. Oh, Vaz Van Drano. How do you do, Woodolf? I am Vaz Van Drano, Sir Joe Vendessi's steward. I am right to assume that you got a delivery, f one from Three Eyes? Yeah, what do you tell me about the collection? You mean Sir Joe Vendessi's Vendessi's collection, of course. What do you make of what you see here? I suppose impressive is one word with which to describe it, and when a man wants everyone who visits him witness such an arsenal on his walls, what is the impression he is trying to give? A rhetorical, rhetorical question, mind you. No need to entertain it with vulgar answers. Yeah. About the payment for the axe. I would prefer if you give me the axe of Oracle's Bane to me first, and I give you the money. Please don't be offended. This is merely a principle of mine. Good man. Here's Oracle's Bane. A grandiose name for such a brutally functional object, isn't it? However, one shouldn't be fooled by its appearance. This axe played a crucial part in an infamous chapter of the Empire's history. It was used to execute the treasonous Councilman Theracles Romus. It must have taken three eyes a considerable effort to track down. They've surely deserved the payment for the axe. As it was agreed, we will be paying Three Eyes 25,000 septums for the service provided. I suppose you'll be given a percentage of this payment for acting as the courier. But that is something you must negotiate with Agonian personally. Here's the gold. Also, here's a receipt. Well, I can't really go about stealing it if they're giving me a receipt and everything. And also, it would probably be a bad idea to piss off the only good friends I've found. <laughs> Let's head back and tell and give three AIs the money. They're professional there. Fresh game. Wait. Oh, the door is here. Cash. Hello, three eyes. Oh, I keep forgetting my skooma on the floor. Damn it. I'm glad to see you, Eladan. You delivered Thurical's Bane to Vermilius Vendesi, right? We trust that you have returned with the money, yes? <laughs> okay. Yes, here's a receipt and 25,000 septums. Very, very good. You may keep 10% of the price, 2,500 drakes. We thank you for acting like a professional. We will call upon you later, should we have jobs to offer. Safe travels, friend. Safe travels. Be well, traveler. I don't have any loot for you, but I'll be back for your juicy money. Oh, 
So back to Do you Columbia want Ruins. something from me? So let's see how our little thieves guild is looking now. Paid for beds, paid for carpets. It's looking okay. So good to see you. I'm one of your time, boss, if you're not too busy with um crime and whatnot. I think we should improve the hideout. I believe it would improve morale of this gang of ours. It is quite gloomy in here, isn't it? In the Major's Guild, they have potted plants to make the overall atmosphere more pleasant. We are gravely lacking sunlight, but there are types of mushrooms that can thrive underground. Luminescent fungi would not only be pleasing to the eye, but they may also be useful for potions and such. I only need some coin for the pots. What do you say? Make it so. I shall get it done, boss. How about you? What are your suggestions for improving the hideout? Most guild hall halls aren't underground. Most of them are in a cozy tavern. Maybe we could do a bit of carpentry and build a little bar of our own. Oh, uh, you're a man after my own heart. Yeah, you know, with drinks and bar stools and the like. I mean, I'm not a professional carpenter or nothing, but how hard could it be to build a simple bar? I just need a couple of drinks to make it happen. Go ahead, man. Good luck with your bar. Hopefully you don't nail your fingers. What are your improvements? You know what would deter potential intruders? A nice set of bear traps. Yeah, that's what we need. A bar and bear traps. Nothing wrong could ever happen. Don't let the name fool you. They work just as effectively on common thong thugs. We could put them in the entrance hall above us. Just need to be careful not to walk into them ourselves. What do you say? Go ahead. I'm the only one that's gonna suffer here, coming in and out of this guild hall. So let's talk to Shay. You're back, ringleader. I've got exciting news. I've just received a letter from Indorath, the mastermind of Blacklight has seen it fit to promote me. I'm now a ringleader of the guild. I now have the authority to grant you advancement beyond the rank of the operative, should you meet the requirements. And that's not all. Indra's got a special job for you. Do I have any advancements? Congratulations, Eladan. You are now Eladan the Mastermind. So I'm higher rank than you. Okay, cool. Tell me about this special job. I don't know what the job is. You see, Indoral's orders are enclosed in a separate sealed note for your eyes only. Read it. See what he has to say. You honor me. Please speak. Aladan Gallo, you're clearly a person who gets things done, so this letter is for you specifically. I commend you on the job so far. You're starting to kick up dust in Endothrin, so I believe it's only a matter of time before you draw out the as of yet unknown Kamenatan boss who ordered the massacre at the Dusky Alley Inn. When you find that individual, I want you to kill them. Disclose these orders with the others if you see it fit. Well, Shay, I don't think you're gonna like this. Have you read the letter about the special job? Um, I don't know if it's alright for me to ask, but would you mind telling me what orders Indorath gave you? I know the letter was just for you, but I think that, um... We are all friends and colleagues, aren't we? We should trust each other. 
Yeah, I don't see why not. If there's any rats amongst us, I guess this will weed them out when they try to kill me. He wants me to kill the Kamatang boss. Oh dear. That troubles me. I understand that there's some who would want retribution for the massacre at the Dusky Alley, but this goes against the words of Arnie the Scrib. Killing people is bad business. That's what it says in on Honor Among Thieves. We're not supposed to be murderers, are we? This talk of killing and murder, I don't think that's right. I'm not telling you to go against Indra's orders, but this talk of killing the Kamatang boss troubles me. Violence should not be our way, but I guess we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's talk about jobs. Sure, what jobs do you have for me? It's time we disrupt the illegal skooma train. I'm doing a bit of that with Gordol over in Almasthir. Skuma trade is the most important source of income for the Kamenathong in Andothran. Disrupting the trade will loosen their grip on the city. Find out where they're getting the skuma and put an end to it. Talk to the other members. They might have ideas about where to start. And be careful out there, Eladon. After we do this, they're bound to realize that the Thieves' Guild is back in town. So we have our next task, which is to put a stop to the legal skooma train, which I don't understand why the Thieves Guild doesn't dabble in much. Maybe it's just not their way, like old school mob shit. Don't don't sell drugs. It's bad for the family. picked up much gear. Let's go talk to the other, other members, see what they know about the skooma train me. here in town. I Stop feel I can truly share with you without fear. I already got you the mushrooms. Yeah. So, what do you know about the illegal skooma trade? Well, I'm afraid I won't be much use here. But seeing that skooma requires a relatively complex set of alchemical processes to manufacture, I would wager that the Kamenathong have a specialized alchemist in their employ who's familiar with such processes. A cook, so to speak. Without the cook, there won't be any skooma, so I suggest you find this person and remove them from the equation. That sounds very menacing, I guess. How about you? You have to know about the skooma trade, right, Rowdy? You should talk to a local skooma fiends. There's a bunch of them in the abandoned guard tower down in the western wharf. Ask them who they buy their stuff from. And, you know, if we're really gonna step on the tongs' toes, this might be an opportunity opportune moment for us to take over the business. Oh, I like the way you're talking, Rowdy. Tell me a bit more about that. We gotta at least think about it, right? I mean, there's a lot of money in Skooma. Ask the others what they think. I bet they'll tell you it's a good idea. <laughs> for some reason, I don't think they will agree with you. Let's ask him. Take over the business. I must confess, the idea makes me rather uncomfortable, though I'm not witnessed it personally. I know from the literature what skooma can do to a person. The bliss that it brings is only temporary, but the misery that follows lingers for a long, long time. I know that we're thieves. Must we become drug barons also? Or when you throw around words like barren, it sort of makes me want to do it. I guess that's not the right thing. Whatever it is, it can wait. Remember the good offer you made when I joined the guild? It's time we talk about that. Sure. Tell me about this good offer. 
Remember when you convinced me to join the Thieves Guild? I told you, told you I'd expect to be getting my fair share in the future. Well, the future is now, and the Guild has made a decent amount of gold. I want my cut. 350 drake seems reasonable, no? You both know I've earned it. Oh, have you earned it? I don't think you have, but either way, I'll give you the cash. You may just be a common tongue thug, although that wouldn't make sense because you're not a dark elf. If anyone, it's all rowdy over there. Okay. Here's your 350 septums. Good work. Good, thank you. Now back to the task at hand. Tell me, what do you think about Rowdy and Rilmas? The kid's got heart and skill. Unfortunately, that's all overshadowed by the massive chip he's got on his shoulder. You want to take over the business? because that's what Rowdy is recommending. Hmm, not a bad idea. Knock the Kamatong out and take out of the game and take over what's left of the business. They will retaliate, of course. It's gonna be ugly. Well, they're gonna retaliate either way. Let's see what Shay has to say. What do you think about taking over the business? Rowdy Romas thinks we should take, should get into the skooma business. Oh dear. That sounds risky. But yes, it would be very profitable. No doubt Indorov would approve of it. Oof. Let me think about Greetings, it. Okay, let me think friend. about it. Walk with virtue, Outlander. I think I'm going to take a quick break and take a boat down to Almaster and just hand him that mission. See what mission he gives me. Because I feel like after I try to disrupt the skooma trade, the common pond will be on my ass. Warm welcome to you. Yeah, my mark spell. We're back with the skooma for Gordol. Hail and welcome, Let's friend. talk to him. Hail. I asked you to pay a visit to the Mandrethi Plantation and find the shipment of skooma. Have you found it? Yes, I have. I see you've got the skooma as well as the evidence of where it's being made. Great work, Mastermind. Take half of the shipment as your reward. So the Kamatong's distribution distributes the skooma along Velos' path, don't they? This note confirms my assumption, and I suppose we can use it to our advantage. Speak with me again when you're ready for more jobs. I'm ready for more jobs. The Kamatong does skooma trafficking along Velos' path, and we're going to use it against them. I want you to infiltrate the Kamatong's stash in Holland Oak and find proof of their smuggling activity. The common tongs distribute skooma from their base in Holland Oik. According to my sources, the tong keeps a record of their recent smuggling operations in an encrypted logbook. I need you to find their skooma stash, search it for that book and deliver it to me. The Thieves Guild is absent from Howland Oak, so you need to find the stash on your own. Consider asking the locals if they've seen anything. Searching for special tools. Ooh, My yeah. prices are the best. Banja Longface, it is truly a pleasure to see you. Tell me about the Kamatong stash. 
You're the headstrong sort, aren't you? Don't want to waste too much time asking stupid questions. Once you know where the stash is, get in, grab their books, and get out. Take a few of the thongs, thugs, while you're at it. Well, here's a fine one. Speak freely. What can I help you with? A lady, do you know anything about... The thong stash? I guess we don't. Killing and murder. According to the unwritten code of the Thieves Guild, killing is always inefficient, inelegant, and counterproductive. Searching for special Good, tools. Madam. My prices are the best. We'll talk to you, my man up here. A warm Instagram. welcome to you. It is truly a pleasure to see you. Tell me about the common thong stash. If you're going to search for the stash, you'll require information. Most of the locals have ties to the common thong, so don't expect much from them. If you want my advice, Aladan, pay a visit to the Morning Sun Corner Club in Holland Oik. The owner, Ralsa Harlil. He's the mur whose words you can trust for the right price. He'll tell you something useful. That's some good advice, my friend. Thank you. Are you guys in the guild too? Background agent retainer has the body. That's Vosh. You are just a hireling. Okay. Must. You're just on your way to Vardenfell. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. Okay, so our next task is to head down to Halen Oak. Oak, how are you supposed to pronounce that? And I will oblige and go do that. And with once complete, I complete this quest, I will officially be where I left off last time in about an hour less of time. So that's pretty good. Take me to Lan Oek. I guess I could ask the bartender, but I found the best thing was here. Welcome to Halan Oh, yeah, Countlander, do you need help finding a specific place? Yeah. Do you know anything about... Carlton Sash? Foul smells tend to come from the eastern swords, yet nobody dares to venture inside. I'm waiting. Uh, it's basically directly saying, hey, get down there. What is it now? So we're in the Eastern Sword System. Just have to jump my way down here. Some strange graffiti on the walls. This isn't a safe place for outlanders. Make me. Go away. Go away, you put four inches of steel in me? I'll put like two meters in you. Die, Set my steel. Oh, oh, you guys want to mess with me, huh? Take this. 